Now, here we are at Mapton Lake. We're just coming out of the dry season, and the lake is bare. I mean, it's probably falling about a metre or two, even, but that is so much higher than it was. If you go back, and if I can find the footage, I'll cut it in 2020. This time, there was barely any water in the lake. Now, what I'm going to do today was two big patchy lakes. This is um, Mapachan. And you've also got the um, other one, begins with C H C H A. I'll um, put it in the titles. We're going to go down, drive down to that, but then we're going to fly back because I've got some very old footage from about 2015 uh, before the drone laws were updated saying you have to keep it line of sight. And I had some long range antennas and I, I flew from one lake to the other. So we'll uh, find that footage and we'll put that in. But first of all, we're going to drive there. We'll just have a, a quick look up here. But although it's been a huge heat wave the last few weeks and there hasn't been any rain for a while, there was enough rain to maintain the high level of a lake all through the winter. Well, I call it winter. It's a, not really winter here. It's, it's a dry season. But you can see it's, it's dropped down a metre or two. But I mean, compared to 2020. prediction I've um, been watching the climate 2016 was a very very dry season a big drought we moved into our house and the ground was like dust halfway through a rainy season then 2020 four years later was the same and this year it's been all right, apart from this heat wave the last few weeks. Well, um, we'll go up here. So I'm thinking you have a drought every four years, which means we've got one coming next year. Let's see if I'm right. 
But the year after that is a very, very wet season. So 2017 and 2021, or two years after, is it 22? Yeah. 22 was a very um, wet, dry season. I was in England visiting my dad, who's sick. But Nim said it rained every day from January, February. Well, not literally every day. A beautiful temple there. Okay, let's go along. Well, to get to it, you take the next left. And what we'll do here, we'll speed it up. Right. Just missed a turn now. I just want to take you down, show you this. Now, some years ago, again, it was about 2016, Oh, it's fenced off. There was a big music concert down here. Big metal fence up there, the other side of that. And they put this huge, huge um, metal man, basically, with all lighting in his mouth and everything, up in that field dead ahead. And um, very, very impressive. And I flew there. So you can find that footage, we'll cut that in. Also here, this is where we found some stray puppies. I used to bring the kids after school and I used to like to bring some dog food and feed them. And that might be one of them now, all grown up. Like I'll taste food, don't they? Maybe so, they... one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Wasn't there six before last week? Six dogs, yeah. puppies. Well, they die, don't they? All the pythons come along and eat them. What? Do you think the pythons eat them? She's scared. She doesn't like coming near us. She's probably never been around people. This, this daddy. They're in a good feed, aren't they? That, that seems, the, it seems like yesterday, but when I watch a video, the kids are so small, you know, and you don't realise how quickly the time goes. 
which is nice to see them grow up, also a shame. Well, we've got little Amelie, she's um, not even two yet, so we're going to have little ankle biters around us for a few years yet. Here's your Highway 7 extension, takes you all the way down to, it was meant to take you to the airport, but it, uh, that bit isn't open yet. So it takes you to um, Bang Chang, and then it's not too far to drive on the road to the airport. There's nothing behind me, I'll just pull over here and have a look, I'll pan the camera around. There you go, to your right is um, Indopatia and to your left is, um, they call it Map Pat Foot or something, but I know it's Bang Chang. They've just got a car coming, we'll let that go. And then we'll get back on the hyperlapse. My first video since Sunbrand. I've been hours and hours and hours every day of editing. This is the first time I've had a chance to shoot anything new. You can see that big hill over to the left with a temple below it. There's a temple on top as well. That is basically on the edge of a lake. And here, look, they've fenced it all off now. Oh no, you can still get in. This is a non brew airstrip. We did um, a, a previous video where I drove into there. Now, if you're driving a bike in Thailand for the first time, Watch out for all this sand. When you get some rain, the sand washes right across the road and you put your front brake on, you're coming off. It's, they call it the black ice of Thailand. Really can be lethal. And now the big temple to the right, not the one in front, the big one to the right is finally finished. We've been finished for a little while now. I flew over that before when they um, before we put the roof on it. Got some nice footage. This one here on the left, that was here a lot longer. That was one of my first ever flights back in 2014 with uh, Phantom 2 Vision Plus. Could have driven in there actually. Down here is the other side of a big lake we're going to. There's a bridge over it. Oh, he's going right. Good. But he's not. I do, they like indicating left and turning right and vice versa and indicating they're not going anywhere. There you go, take a look at that. Again, back in 2020, this was completely dry and the other side of the road, it was completely dry. You had trees grow out of it. If you look carefully, you can still see a few of the dead bits sticking up. And when it floods again, the trees die. Okay, left here. There's the um, start of the lake, but we're going right over the other side. No. 
what we can get from the mobile. There's another one up here. Oh, it's funny truck. Look how that. Oh, oh, oh. Diversion. We came here for the. Now I called it Barupa and I got told off and I didn't get many views because it was spelt wrong. It's um, Barapa Bike Week. It's uh, all the motorbike shows. Ah, it's just up there, look. Where, where those bloody hell, when it's not. It's not sand all over the road, it's mud. Yeah, I do love the rainy season, but the roads get messy. Okay, left in here, and we are at the other lake. If we get back, we'll um, show you the drone footage, and you'll know how old it is because the, um, the motorway bridge over the top of Soy Siam Country Club isn't there, didn't exist, it was not even started. They started that in 2016, just after we moved into our new house, driving up past, they started putting the pylons in. I had no idea what it was, didn't even know they were doing a motorway extension. Here we go. I'll tell you what, we'll tell you the end and come back. Whee! So here would have probably been about where we flew from. And we flew right over past that temple and that will take you back to Mapuchan.
be illegal to do that now because you don't obviously keep line of sight. But what you do, um, as long as you don't lose the signal, you can still see it on the phone or the screen. But that's not allowed. So we try and um, stick to the rules. There's an old boat there, look. It looks beautiful, but it hasn't been used for years, by the looks of things. Very expensive to maintain boats. Trust me, I've had them. I've owned quite a few boats. I've got my sea legs, but no money left. <laughs> Shop, restaurant, sort of thing. 